of leadership, whether good or bad. In every arena of life, a leader is required. In a country, a leader is required. In a home, a leader is required. In a church or even in a company, a leader is required. Even in a classroom setting, a leader is always required. Everywhere that you go in life, you will see leaders. In fact, we can go so far as to say that there are only two types of people in the entire world. There are leaders and there are followers. Leadership is best defined as the ability or the capacity to influence and inspire others. Successful and effective leaders share traits that we can use to lead those who are around us, whether in a boardroom, on the battlefield, or in the gymnasium floor, or on the football field. The position of a leader is, is a very important position because a leader is the one who sets the tone for the entire team. Therefore, you'll want to be a strong advocate for positive and hopeful thinking. A good leader is also an effective communicator. He shares his vision with his team, he shares exciting news, he shares failures and ideas on how to improve, and he also celebrates victories when victories come the team's way. Effective leaders empower their teams by encouraging growth through cross-training, reading, seminars, education, brainstorming, idea boxes, and also additional responsibilities. The difference between a good leader and a great leader is that a good leader has to be near his team in order to yield great results. Whereas a great leader can leave his team for one to even as many as four weeks and his team will still function at high levels just as well or better even in his absence. Furthermore, true leaders don't have a need for titles. They gather a following through vision, determination, wisdom, expertise, persistence, compassion, and integrity. Also, great leaders ask the right questions to members of their teams, knowing that they will unveil problems and yield tremendous understanding about their customers, their employees, and even their operations. As a leader, you should encourage and reward others for finding errors and opportunities within the organization. Lastly, successful leaders value being respected over being liked. Leaders have to make tough decisions that are not always the most popular. Remember that part of your job as a leader is to sell your decision. And don't be afraid to hold your, to hold your ground when others disagree with you. Keep your tenacity, keep your passion as a leader, and see to it that the best solution always wins. It is true that leaders...